What's up, y'all? This is Jay Watts with Uber Jeep AZ, and it was another very slow week. I think let's let's get the haters out the way and let's put my numbers up real quick just so they can, you know, see what they came to see. They came to see how much money we didn't make so they can go to another channel and be like, these drivers ain't making nothing. They ain't making nothing. Fine. Here you go. You see my numbers. You see how horrible it was. The hours sucked and everything else. So go clap it up. Laugh at, at the failure of somebody else or whatever you may think. Because we know that's what they're here. They're not here to see a family succeed. They're not here to see people make it in life. They're here to see people fail. So I always get them out the way first. Now we can get along with the video. Now, I did delivery. And my man, James C., he did actual ride share. He, was he does UberX. Now, let me tell you about my man, James C., before I even get into it. Now, this guy, I met him last year, like at the tail end of like fall or something like that. And he was like, hey, man, I, I saw you on YouTube, man. Can you meet up with me? I'm having a hard time. Met up. You know, the dude was making like 15 bucks an hour. They were charging him for a rental through Lyft. And before he could even make the next payment, he didn't even have enough money. They were already charging him again. He was like, man, I can't keep up with this cycle, man. I don't know what the deal is. So I sat with him and I kind of, you know, started walking through it for videos, through it through like logic of how we're going to do this ride share, just kind of walking him through it and everything. Now, he always says, oh, man, you taught me a lot. You taught me a lot. I don't really think I taught him nothing. I think all I really did was just open up a neurological path in his brain. That's all I did. I think because he was hearing so much negativity about ride share, so much negativity about gig work. I think it was shutting his brain down because those channels were flooding YouTube. All negative shit. Everything was negative. And I think he was caught into that realm. So it didn't allow him to think. Because I tell people when you're frustrated, and, and you can't, don't have a clear conscience, you can't think of shit straight. So I opened this dude's mind up. He has literally taken off. There's days when I make 200, 250, he's making 300, 350. I do Lux and Delivery. This guy just does UberX. He sends me some screenshots of some of the shit he's getting, the, all the declines he's doing and all the accepts he's, man, trust me, I didn't teach this guy this. I didn't because he is greatly exceeding any expectation I had of an UberX driver. And he just has like a little camera. That's it. He is making a killing. And it was all because just listening and opening up his neurological path to solutions, to happiness, to positive outcomes. Fuck all the negative people. Fuck all the haters. You keep listening to them, you're going to end up exactly where they are in a negative ass position. All I did was tell this man, change your mindset. When you change your mindset, you change your bank account. You're making moves now. You're not making excuses like them. They, oh, you guys just need to get a real job. There ain't no money in Raj here. It's dead. This stuff is dried up. This, there's nothing. That's all you're going to hear on those channels. Those people do that shit for a living. They sell you shit for a living. So you stay down. I'm trying to bring you up. I didn't teach this dude nothing. He keeps saying I taught him something. I didn't teach him a thing. I just told him, stop listening to the wrong energy. The guy kills it. Uber X every night. He hit me up last night. You know, I'm doing delivery. I'm having fun doing my delivery because to me, delivery has become kind of therapeutic. I'm cruising and shit, enjoying, you know, delivering food, meeting great people, you know, getting good tips and everything like that. You know, I'm way out in the countryside and shit. I'm like driving past houses on the mountains and every fucking thing. Ain't nobody in the car with me. It's just me dropping off food. I'm, I'm enjoying a vibe right now. It is a slow ass January. I needed this energy. I needed, you know, a chance to play some old school ass Carl Thomas, some old Jodeci. Come and talk to me. I'm like fucking cruising and I'm just delivering food, you know, burritos and Chinese food and shit like that. I did have a crazy ass McDonald's delivery. I'll show y'all these, the clips after this, but that's why I was enjoying delivery. It wasn't even about the money at that point. He was like, Jay Watts. Hey, you got to get to the airport, man. We banging out rides. I mean, he made about 300, 350 at the airport. He was like, you got to get to the airport. I said, you know what? I'm going to work my way that way. I will. I'll come that way. And I text him now. I'm going to work my way that way. But I think I was just in my zone. I was enjoying my day. I didn't want to be bothered with the airport. I don't even think the money made a difference at that point. I was just enjoying my day. I mean, I wanted to come over there and hang out with these guys and chop it up with them and have fun. But, you know, sometimes just cruising and shit, just riding. To nowhere just to drop off food and then get in you ride back you either decline some shit or you accept something you just crew i was like just enjoying that day it was an easy ass sunday for me 
And I could have just went and did, some, you know, a crazy airport rides and been throwing luggage and shit in and having people sit with the luggage in their lap because I got a little baby ass BMW and I need a fucking Prius to do the airport for real. Got this little baby ass BMW. I fit two suitcases in the back. Everybody else got to hold their shit in their lap. So I don't like doing airport that much. I need a, a better vehicle. I need a Prius. But I'm just, I'm just vibing. I'm cruising. And sometimes you need that shit in the day. No matter what job you have out there, gig work, traditional job, some days you just need that time. Cruise. Ain't about the fucking money no more. It's just, man, it's been a, a super declining week. I still made pretty good money, even with it being a shitty week, because I didn't drive that much. I was doing more deliveries, and the deliveries was helping me out. I feel I was cruising. I worked my ass off since last Halloween, so I'm sitting on a little cash cushion, so I'm good. I don't have to stress myself the fuck out. I don't have to let these apps stress me out. So I was just enjoying it. And, and, you know, King James and the fellas at the airport, they was making money. So I'm happy for them. They getting crazy rides and this and that. I'm like, dude, I sent him a long ass text message just telling him how proud I was of him. Because I remember the James that I met wasn't King James. He was peasant James when I met him. He became King James because he was sad. He was taking shit rides. He was doing it. And I saw the guy and I was like, you know what? I got you, man. Because I'm not a human that's going to put another human down. I see that shit all on, on YouTube and news feeds and shit like that. People putting other people down. They ain't human. They fuck ups. I don't deal with them. Sometimes they'll try to come on my shit. Fuck them. I don't deal with them. I deal with energy uplift. I'm down, man. What, what sense does it make for you to beat somebody down who's already down? I'm not going to go tell this dude, James, you just need to quit ride share, man. You need to just get out of this shit. Get that car back, man. You know? No, I said, dude, this is what you do. Now, to get his text messages, to hear his text messages, King James, it's a totally different dude. Night and day, night and day. This dude will send me a message, Jay, hey man, I just got a $39 for 14 miles. Oh, this lady's gave me a $20 tip. The excitement in his text messages. This is not the guy I met in the parking lot. I didn't teach him nothing. I just opened up his mind, that's it. I said, there's enough shit on the internet. You can hear all these YouTubers talking shit. Open your mind up. When you radiate that good ass energy, good shit's gonna come back. You radiate that bullshit, bullshit's gonna come back. That's just the law of physics, man, that's energy. Telekinetic, kinetic, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, it's energy, the shit's moving all around you. And when you push that shit on somebody else, they gonna give you shit back. When you act like a shitty driver, you are gonna have a shitty day. You are gonna get shitty tips, making shitty money. But when you're excited, when you're vibing, when you're in your zone, I be meeting people at the door. Like I said, I love when it says meet me at the door because now they get to see me. They get to see who just went through traffic. Always good ass tips. $17, $18, $12 on little short shit. $5 when it wasn't even a tip on there in the beginning. It's like, damn, because I'm sharing energy with people. And sometimes I'm just vibing, cruising to my music and shit. And I don't want to deal with the airport. I don't want to deal with people. And I love people. But sometimes you need to fucking break. And it's cool. I see in my comments, people be like, man, I need to take a fucking break, man. I don't push them. I'm not your boss. I'm not going to push you. If you tell me you need a break, I'm supporting you right there in the fucking comments. You know what? Take the time off you need, brother. Come back when you think that money's ready. Come back when it's surging. Do this. Don't push yourself to that fucking limit. Don't let these apps run your ass ragged. I support people like that. I'm one of those people, I don't even look at myself as a fucking YouTuber yet because I'm just like in my garage talking shit most of the time. And this is what I always do anyway. I even talk to passengers like this. They be laughing and shit. They be like, man, you're a cool ass motherfucking driver. I'm like, dude, this is what I do all day, man. I'm just a human. If you want to fucking one star me for saying shit, then one star me. I won't have to pick your ass up again. But other than that, let's cruise and let's be cool, man. That's what we do. So I keep it real with people no matter what. I can't change for nothing. I am who I am. So when I hear somebody say, I need a break, I become a compassionate human to that fucking person. I don't be like, oh, you weak motherfucker, your ass can't, you need to get out there and get them, you don't need no damn break, get up, get up. No, if you need a break, take one, dog, take one. The money ain't going nowhere. There's money in ride share, aside from what these motherfuckers are saying. Right now we are getting 50 cent a ride, 40 cent a ride, 25 cent a ride, if you take your ass there and back, we getting bullshit offers. But when I see King James send some shit down a the pipe, there's money out there. And this dude is finding it. He's finding it. I'm doing good with delivery. I might do it for another week. I kind of miss, you know, people laughing and playing. They give me a lot of good fucking songs. I be listening to like Doggy Cat, 
Doja Cat, not Doggy Cat, what the fuck? Doja Cat. I listen to Doja Cat a little bit, and I don't even know what she looks like, but I've heard her fucking music and shit. She probably looks like Nicki Minaj and all these other, they all fucking look alike to me. They fine as a motherfucker, but they all look alike. But I, I listen to music like that sometimes because these girls be putting me on to some shit. Then the dudes jump in, hey man, play this right here, play that, play. So I'm rolling around, you know, hearing West Coast music, East Coast music. I'm hearing rappers I ain't played in a long ass time and shit. This is why I enjoy people because they give me energy and I carry that energy through my week. I might give them a ride for five fucking minutes. That's it. But that song is in my playlist. And every time I hit that song on the playlist, I remember that night and I'm laughing and I'm still feeling good and shit. So that energy they giving me, I carry that shit to the next person. So you come get in my ride. Hopefully you have a good fucking time. If you don't, that's cool. Just fucking one star my ass and I ain't got to worry about you again. I mean, that's how we move into this fucking universe. I don't have to deal with that shit. If you don't like me, you don't like my YouTube channel, you don't like shit, fuck it. Just unsub, unfollow, do whatever the fuck you got to do. There's a whole world of energy out there you could be fucking with. You don't have to fuck with me. I think I'm a good source of energy. Maybe you don't think so. And if you don't think so, then go on about your fucking business. It's not that hard of a fucking equation. If I'm not for you, get out the fucking door. It's that easy. And I tell people, you make your life harder when you keep negative shit around you. You keep negative ass energy around you. You keep negative ass YouTube channels in your news feed because it stunts your fucking mental growth. And you end up like James, peasant James when I saw him. And then you become King James when your ass is enlightened and you understand this shit's all about energy. It's all it's about. It ain't even about the fucking money. The money's going to come. You just got to make the right decisions and drive smart. The money's going to come. But this shit's about energy. And carrying bad energy is going to fuck you up. You need to be better about this to yourself, to your own soul. Be better about this. Because it ain't no job in this world I'm going to do. Like I said, I was corporate for a long time. But even that much money couldn't keep me corporate because it was fucking my soul up. I'm a human. I ain't got time for that shit. I walk out the office, I still be fucking bitter. I still be down because I know I got to come back the next day. So I had to get the fuck out of corporate. It was changing me as a human. And now I'm ride share. I deliver fucking tacos and shit. I deliver french fries and shit. And I kick with fucking people all day. This is me. You fuck with anybody. Says, you ain't nothing but a motherfucking ride share driver. You fucking right. Hell yeah, motherfucker. I got nice ass Beamer bikes, Jeeps, motherfucker. Nice ass house. This is what I do. This is my energy. So of course I'm going to have nice shit because I radiate nice shit. It don't matter what I do for a living. Like I said, I was corporate. I had the worst fucking time. Now that I'm not, I love waking up. This is some cool shit. I could wake up to fucking pancakes every day if I felt like it. But that's how you got to look at life. That's all ride share is. It's just you just introducing yourself to life and you out there kicking with fucking people. So you guys go out there, ride safe. Sorry this video got a little long. I be going on some fucking tangents sometimes. I be trying to cut this shit. I should be doing a live soon. Don't know how soon. Today is what? Monday, January the 23rd. I'll try to do another live before February gets. May, may not. I don't know, but I appreciate all you guys subbing. A lot of you guys have been subbing, and I appreciate that so much. I really love the comments more than anything else because the comments are giving everybody feedback on what's going on in your region and in your market, and that's how we stay networked. And like I said, and we're keeping it positive. We're keeping this shit moving forward. We're trying to make this fucking money. So let's go out there and get it, y'all. Jay Watts, OG Phase Z.